What's good, people? This your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know it's time to grow, bro. What's good with everybody? Merry Christmas. I hope everybody enjoyed their holiday. I know it can get a little hectic, man, because there's so much fucking excitement, man. You know what I'm saying? You're getting gifts and all type of shit. So I hope you guys really enjoyed yourself. Anyway, the reason why I'm making this video is because I was really excited. So I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas. Okay, it's actually the evening time, but I've been psyched all day. You know what I'm saying? Because my wife actually went out and got something that's gonna help me get some gains you know what I'm saying I wasn't sure if she was gonna get it I was kind of back and forth but she went ahead and did it so let me show you guys we're gonna go ahead and go into my garage that I'm actually putting together to be my new home gym I'm not gonna work out in the family room no longer I'm gonna go ahead and take all this shit all this heavyweight equipment and put it in my garage that I'm not using okay so let's go ahead and see what I got okay oh. all right here we go. All right, this the garage right here. Got the dog. What's up, man? We here listening to music, nigga. Straight up, man. What's up, dog? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, y'all. So let's go over here and see what I got. I'm gonna turn this radio down. The old school Memphis Bleak plan, you know. Anyway, y'all. This is what your boy got for Christmas, man. It's finna go down in this bitch for sure, man. So here we go, as y'all guys can see. Got two boxes right here. This is actually a power cage. So made by Fitness Gear. You can get this from like Dick's Sporting Good. You know what I'm saying? Probably run you about 400. You know what I'm saying? Unless you catch it on sale, you might catch it for like 350 or something like that. But it's about $400. You know, I think it's a it's a real good investment, especially if it's on the behalf of my wife. <laughs> Ain't no money out my pocket anyway. <laughs> but anyway, she went ahead and got it for me, and um, that's what's up. So, as you guys can kind of see the picture right there, that's how it's supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? Got the beams on the side, you know, for the little, you know, safety. You know, when you're doing your squats, as you guys know already, I do front squats, so this will come in just as good. Um, you got like the pull-up bar right here. Got the different hand grips for pull-ups. You could do bench pressing in here. I already got a, a, a detachable bench, so I could just wheel that right up in there in the cage, and I can just do my, my, um, my bench presses and stuff like that. I actually could probably go real heavy without having a spotter with me because um i have these bars on the side to catch it you know if i have any problems so i'm looking forward to it so i might start you know working on this tonight putting it together so um that's about it man man time to get started man Woo. wonder how long this shit gonna take uh. Okay, what's up everybody? Okay, it's the day after Christmas. So last night I went ahead and, and put together my power cage, AKA squat rack, whatever you wanna call it. So um, it went real well. It took me about two hours or whatever like that. So it didn't take me a lot of time. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So um, it didn't take me that long. It was a little boring at times. So you know, I had my little setup over here, man. If you, ain't, if you ain't looking at these guys, man, you gotta go check them out, man. That's the highest twins. If you don't know about them, go check them out. You know, Twin Muscle Workout, Axe, Axe Highs Twins, and then they got another channel, Highs Twins. But these guys have me, these guys are fucking hilarious, man. Like, them, them guys had me, like, like laughing the whole fucking time I was fucking building this thing. But it was real entertaining, man. So, you know, that, like, really helped the time go by. So, anyway, um, so check it out. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the, um, the power cage, all right? Hey, what's up, everybody? So, here it is right here. This is the finished power cage, a.k.a. squat rack right here. So as you guys can see, it's all put together. You know what I'm saying? Got the nice gray color to it. Shit looking real spiffy. You know what I'm saying? So I like it, man. It, it, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, when I actually shake it, it's, it, it, it got some good weight on it. It's not like a light piece of shit or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm hearing some jingling. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go ahead and go around again and make sure I tighten up all of these bolts. I think I missed one right here. But anyway, other than that, man, it's real sturdy from what I can feel. Got a lot of weight on it. Don't feel like it's something that can easily tip over. Um, as you can see, also, it has a nice height to it. Because as you guys probably don't know, I'm 5'11". So it actually still has a nice amount of height on this thing 
for me to be 5'11". Um, because you see, it has a pull-up bar right here, so when I'm even doing pull-ups, when I reach my hands way up here, man, it's like my body can actually, I'm not hanging off the floor, but if I just raise my knees up just a little bit, I have a nice hangability. You know, my body's pretty much kind of hanging. So I know if I was to have used like a dip belt with this or something like that, like it will work perfect because I'll be able to have the dip belt on, the weight will be able to hang. It's not like the door, the doorway setup. And plus this is more sturdier than like the orange gym door setup that I usually will use before I got this. But um, but like I said, this is a nice pull-up bar right here. Um, you can do your wide grip pull-ups, you know, like this. You know, you do your wide grip, you can do a, a nice neutral grip. Okay. Um, it got another neutral grip that's a little more wider, you know, right here. Um, underhand grip, you know, chin ups, okay. And then um, I guess if you guys want to go a little bit more wider, you can, you know, do wide grip underhand like that. So, like I said, it's a lot of different variations as far as the, um, the pull-up bar goes, man. So this is great. The only thing that I did notice is that the bar is a little smooth. So what I might go ahead and do is um, might go to like the sports store and buy like some um, tennis tennis tape. You know the tape that they use to wrap the handles of like a tennis racket and put that on there and it might bring a little bit more extra grip to the bar, okay? But other than that, pull-up bar feels great. Um, what else? Um, okay, now moving on to like the squat, the squatting proportion of the equipment. It came with these two side rails right here. Um, I like the way they design these because actually there's like a there's like a rubber padding on each one of these bars. You can see the ridges in it right there, like a rubber padding. So that'll actually you know absorb some of the shock from the bar falling on it. Like if something was to go wrong, or just you placing the bar back on this if you're doing like some deadlifts or something like that. So these are easy to put back on. Okay, and it's like. It's a bunch of holes on here, going from the number one all the way up until the number 28. So it's 28 holes. It's about an inch, one inch of separation between each hole. So that's pretty good for as far as like a progressive overload and everything like that, for you to pretty much adjust it to your growth or whatever. Because you might want to go a little lower than um, parallel or whatever the case may be. So you can set it just right. So this should be enough, you know, en enough holes for you to actually do that. So anyway, these are easy to slide on. You just go ahead and take it, match it up with the number. I'm gonna go with number 13. And slide it on through. Boom, there you go. Simple as that. Got the bar. Then actually has another one. I'm gonna put this on the other side. Match it up with 13 as well. Boom, there we go. So it works out good right there, like this. Um, and then it has these right here. These are the, um, I guess the, you know, the, the support beams that you know hold the hold the um, the barbell. So you can you can put these on either side. Okay, as you guys can probably see, it has like a, a beam right here on the floor. So a lot of guys, if you're using it on this side right here, okay, you just slide on like that. Now, if you're using your bar like on this side, like against the wall, you might have a little problem because this beam might be in the way, okay? So, a lot of guys might like not, might not like to step over this when you're going to go up under the bar or whatever the case may be. Of course, this probably is going to be further away from the wall once I get everything up and going. But a lot of guys might not have to stand up, like standing on this beam. So, what you can actually do is you can switch these to the other side, okay? So, it works on either side, man. If you do it on this side, you got more than enough room because there's no beam right here. So you can just go right up under it. You got enough free space right here in front of you, and you can just do your thing. So that's pretty much it, man. So like it's gonna be a nice piece of equipment. I have like a detachable bench that I'll be able to bring in here to do like, you know, bench presses and shit like that. So I can use it for that also. But I'm gonna bring the rest of my stuff in here. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it, man. Um, don't get discouraged, man. I know, you know, $400 is a lot of money, but this is a gift that my wife bought me. So like I said, if you're just trying to get one for yourself or whatever the case may be, they have a lot of them online. You can find them as cheap as like $300.
And another thing you guys can do too is go on Craigslist. You can go on Craigslist on the internet and you can find people like in your local area, maybe in the next three towns over or four towns over, if you're willing just to, you know, take like a little drive or something like that. And you got people that are selling equipment like this online that's used already and it's still in good condition. And they'll sell it to you for a nice, cheap price. You'll probably find one as low as $200 or $150. It all depends on who's selling what and what you can find. So just go ahead and just look around, man. But if you're but if you're in a market for a brand new one, I think this is gonna be a nice one right here. So once again, this is the Fitness Gear Power Cage, and um, I got it from Dick's Sporting Good. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go ahead and like the video and comment and subscribe to your boy Jarrell here, Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know, like I said in the beginning, it's time to grow, bro. I'm out of here. Peace.